In this video, we are going to install our development environment on Apple's OS X. Now, normally Apple provides a very simple way to install Java. Simply by running any Java command, it will detect that you don't have Java installed and it will prompt you to install it. However, as of this video recording, Apple has not quite caught up to the newly released Java 8. So we are going to install it manually, which is still very simple to do. Once we have Java installed, we'll then install Eclipse, which is a graphical integrated development environment, which will increase our productivity as we write our Java applications. So let's start with Java. We'll just go directly to the Java website to get a download. And the address is www.java.com. Now you'll notice this button here that says free Java download. This is only for the Java runtime environment, which lets you execute existing Java applications. It doesn't give you the tools that we are going to need to develop Java applications. So to do that, just scroll down to the bottom and click on the developers link. Then come over here to where it gives you the link for the JDK downloads. We want to install the Java Developers Kit version 8. So we'll click on this download button and it will take you to the main download page. Now the first thing you'll need to do is accept the license agreement, then come down and choose the platform for which you're going to run the JDK. For us, that's Mac OS X running in 64-bit mode. So let's click on this link and begin the download. It will take just a moment, so go ahead and let it complete. Now, since this downloads as a disk image or DMG file, all we have to do is run it to start the installation. So I'll come down to my downloads folder. I'll say open in Finder. And then just double click on the file we just downloaded. This will start the installation and we just double click here to begin. It's a very simple install. You essentially just choose all the defaults. So I'll choose continue here. I'll install it, put in my administrator's password, and say install software. And we're all set. So I'll close this and just clean things up a little bit here. Now, once I've installed Java, there are two things that I always like to test. And that is to make sure that the runtime environment is working, as well as the Java developers kit. And the easiest way to do that is from a terminal. I'll just go up to my Go menu and choose Utilities, and at the bottom, I'll run the terminal. To test the Java runtime environment, you just put in the command Java space dash version. It should come back that it's running Java version 1.8, which is the marketing term for Java version 8. Now to test the Java developers kit, I'm going to execute Java C, which is the Java compiler, and then dash version. That should also come back with 1.8.0 in this case. So now we know that both our runtime environment as well as the compiler are both running Java version 8. So we're good to go on the Java side. Well, let's finish up by installing Eclipse. We'll get that from their website, which is at www.eclipse.org. They just have a download button here on the front page, and they know that we're running OS 10, so we just choose 32 or 64 bit. All versions of OS 10 since Lion run on 64 bit. So I'll click that, choose the location where I'm downloading it, and then it will begin the download. Eclipse just ships as a tar file or a compressed archive. There's really no installation. All you need to do is put it in a location where you want to keep your applications. So I'll open it in the Finder, and to unpack it, you just double click on the file. Here's the application, but it's sitting in our download folder. What I'd like to do is just move it into my applications folder, so I'll just click and drag it and drop it right inside of applications. Now, if I click on applications, I should see Eclipse in here. To run Eclipse, you just open it up and double click on the Eclipse icon. Now to keep this handy, you may want to drag it down onto your dock. 
Now you have it right where you need it. So we're good to go. We have our Java Developers Kit installed, as well as Eclipse, which will help us out as we write our Java applications.